Next, we're gonna do a short trampoline workout. The most important thing on trampoline is body awareness and making sure you stay safe, especially at home when you're above ground trampolines. So we wanna make that our number one priority. Um, so what we recommend with all these jumps is to start really small and as much fun as it is on a trampoline to go as big as you can, we wanna start small and work our way up until we feel like we have good control. If you have a trampoline at home, there are some different things that you can be working on there um, to improve your gymnastics. Um, but the first things first for a trampoline for rules for us is knowing how to safely stop your body. So for us, um, Molly just do some little jumps. Um, she's gonna show us how to stop her body safely on the trampoline. We call that our stick. Notice how the trampoline stopped and she stopped. Can you show us that shape again? She has bent knees a little bit, her chest is up tall, arms reaching forward. That is how we stop our body on the trampoline. Um, so next we're gonna move into some basic shape jumps. Uh, Molly's just gonna do three of each of these, but at home you can be working on 10 to 20 of each. You can make up your own numbers, try to challenge yourselves. The first one is our straight jump. She's gonna glue those legs together, arms up tall by her ears, nice and straight. Pushing through those toes every time. And a stick, practicing that oh, air awareness on the trampoline. All right, so next she's gonna move on to her tuck jump. She's going to try to pull those knees up in front of her. Her feet are pointing every time they leave the trampoline. And another stick. All right, so next she's gonna move on to her straddle jump. Her legs are gonna go apart together, apart together, apart together, and stick and stopping her body. Good, trying to really press into that trampoline. Ours is super bouncy. It might be a little bouncier than what you might have at home. Next she's gonna show us her split jumps where one leg goes in front of her, one goes behind. Three on one leg and then three on the other leg. And practice that stick and trying to stop her body. Very nice. Um, so next she's gonna try to show us her jump half turns. So this is also to work on our air awareness. She's gonna start facing one direction and jump and turn the other way. Good, and stick, and she's gonna try it again. So jump and turn, stick. Those are our jump half turns. You can try that in both directions. If that is too easy for you, or if you wanna make it a little more challenging, you can try to go all the way around in our jump full turn and try to find where you're at and then try to go in another direction. Those ones are a little bit trickier. Next, Miss Molly's gonna move on to her seat drops. So can you just sit down on the trampoline for a second, Miss Molly, and show us what a seat drop shape looks like? She's gonna sit in her bike. <laughs> she's gonna bounce in her bike, so she's gonna sit down in her bike. Um, hands are right next to her. Miss Molly, why don't our hands go behind us in our seat drop? They break their arms. Yep, it Very is the dangerous. most common way that people break their arms on trampolines is by reaching behind them and putting all the body weight onto their wrists behind them. All right, so. This is the shape that we want. Um, with the preschoolers, we have them practice, practice high-fiving the trampoline. <laughs> Just like that. Um, so show us again. High-five. Good. So next, she's going to stand up. And she's not even going to do any big jumps into this. She doesn't need to. Um, for her first one, she's just going to try to sit down and high-five the trampoline. If she doesn't get back up to her feet, that's fine. Good. Just to practice that shape and to know her hands are there to help her get back up. Now, once you figure that out, um, then you can try to drop down and sit back or stand back up. So drop and stand back up. All right, so do you guys remember our jump half turn from earlier? She's gonna do her seat drop to her feet and practice a jump half turn and face the other direction. And jump half turn. Next, she's gonna go into another seat drop. Seat drop, jump half turn. Good, this is working towards something called our swivel hips. So for this next one, she's gonna do a seat drop and then do a half turn and land on her feet facing the other way. So seat drop and half turn. Finishing up on her feet. She's gonna try that again. Seat drop and half turn without touching those feet. Good, and if you are able to do that, that's when you um, can try our swivel hips. So that's where you go seat drop, turn your body without touching your feet, and another seat drop. Woo try to challenge yourself to see how many swivel hips you can do in a row. All right, the next one, um, can you go down to your doggy shape on the trampoline, Miss Molly? So for our seat drop to our doggy drop is what we're gonna work on next. But I just want to show you her shape first. Our doggy drop, it actually kind of looks like she's building a little table out of her body. Um, her shoulders are above her wrists, her hips are above her knees, and she has strong, straight arms. So we don't want to jump into the shape from our feet um, unless we have really good body control. So we're just going to show from our seat drop directly to our doggy drop. So Miss Molly's going to go seat drop and go all the way to that doggy drop shape. Now she's able to do that. She might even pop right back up into her feet. So seat drop, doggy drop. So now that we have practiced our doggy drops um, and we sh um, showed that we could do nice, strong, straight arms, um, Miss Molly's going to show us how to do donkey kicks in the middle of your trampoline. 
Um, so she's going to drop down to her knees first, but have those strong straight arms ready to push into the trampoline. So she's going to go from her knees, squeezing her tummy, and her arms to her knees, and back up. Try that one more time. So squeezing her tummy tight, strong straight arms, knees, and all the way back up. 